Hello gems and welcome back to the Sapphire Star. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up a Tundra trackers from A to Z. You get them, you, they just came in the mail and now you're like, okay, gotta set it up to my Steam VR. So without further ado, let's get started. If we are meeting for the first time, my name is Sapphire and I am here to help you on your creative journey with all things virtual reality, 2D art, 3D art, and VTubing. If you want to catch me live or be in these YouTube videos live, you can check me out over on Twitch. All right, let's do this. Yo, we got Tundra trackers. It always messes up my lighting every time I hold the dark box like next to my face. It's fun though. So you got your case here. We are going to do a top down view so we can take a look at everything that's in our case and I'll do a little bit of explanation there first. Okay, I know this is totally random, but I just put my camera down for a second and look at this beautiful like setup focus we got. All right, distractions. Moving on. All right, we have our beautiful Tundra box here and we got this tracker, this tracker. We got three trackers that came with and these are going to be pretty simple to set up. Something I want to make a quick side note of is the ends that they come with. Now I swapped them out with the additional little bars that they came with. So initially they will come with, with pallets like these to hook up with your regular track straps that the Tundras come with. Now I'm using different track straps that are from my HTC Vive full body setup and there's little compartments that these come with if you want to still use those. I recommend those track straps for tracking over the ones that the Tundra comes with. I'll drop the link in the bio and you'll also see a picture here of what those other ones look like. You will need to swap this out with this with a little baby screwdriver, but if you're ready to go otherwise, we're going to hop over into downloading Steam VR, which is going to be your first step before you turn on your trackers or anything like that. So the first thing you're going to want to get is Steam VR. So we'll find Steam VR here. You will download and install it. I already downloaded and installed mine, but you should have a big install button right here. And once it's done going, you can click launch. You also have the VR button up here where you could start Steam VR through there or right here usually I start it here. If you already have a headset, if you have, I use the HTC Vive. I don't know if the Tundra trackers actually work with the Quest 2. I'm using this with the HTC Vive base stations and HTC Vive headset. So I'm going to assume that you know a little bit in this video about how your HTC Vive is already set up. So we're going to click VR and go ahead and launch it. And you'll have this little icon here that shows you everything that's plugged in. So if you're using the HTC Vive, say you don't have any full body yet, these are your two base stations, these are your two controllers, and this is your headset. Now we want to adapt, adad, we want to adad, wow. we want to add our Tundra trackers in here. The first thing that you want to do is you're going to want to plug in your dongle, which is going to keep track and be able to read. It's going to be a part of what reads where your trackers are on your body. This is what your dongle looks like. It should come in your case with your Tundra trackers. It's this long USB type stick. And you want to make sure you're plugging this into a 3.0 USB port. It's going to look like this. I'll show you on screen. They're blue ports to make sure that your tracking is happening as fast as possible. So make sure you go ahead and plug this in into a blue slot on your PC. And I will do that right now. So this is what the 3.0 USB port looks like. You will plug the dongle directly into that. Perfect. So next we have have our, our dongle, which we just plugged in, which is fantastic. And the next thing you are going to do is, well, you want to make sure they're charged at first. I believe when I first got my Tundra trackers that they were charged and I did not have to charge them, but you may have to charge yours first. If that's the case, your Tundra trackers come with these little charge ports right here. You'll plug this end here, and then you will plug this USB either into your computer, or you can plug it into one of the USB like little Apple cube things and plug it into the wall. All right. So next what you're going to do is there's a button here on top. You're going to click that and you'll see your Tundra tracker turning blue. Mine turns green because it connects already here, but we're going to assume that yours is not able to connect yet. This is what it looks like once it's connected. If you're having problems with it, you can highlight over here, over one of your controllers, a new pair of controller. And we'll just do, I want to pair a different type of controller and we will select HTC Vive tracker. And then what you'll do is you will click this button on the top here and you will hold it until it's blinking blue like that. And then it will say your controller is now connected. So it should be able to find it then and connect it. And then you'll do the same thing with all your three other trackers as you'll connect. So we give it a second and then it will connect it. I just held my controller or the, or the, the, the I held the Tundra tracker back here a little bit so that my dongle and my base stations can pick it up because my base stations are at the corners of my room right now. So that's how you set up uh, the Tundra trackers and then it should work smoothly with everything else. Do not wear nails when you're trying to get Tundra trackers out of the case because it does not, it does not work out. I'm like, is an example of what the Tundra trackers look like once they're connected in the game called VR Chat. This is mostly what I use full body tracking for. 
It's one of my favorite games and the Tundra Trackers do a pretty good job at tracking the full body tracking on your character. All right, Gems, it's been wild. I've lost like two wow. nails, three, two nails in the process of doing that whole VR tracking thing and my hair is looking like Justin Bieber right now. But we learned how to set up the Tundra Trackers. We saw a little bit of insight in how they look. One of the next videos I'll be working on is a side-by-side -side video of the Tundra versus the Vive Trackers and different poses and positions of what your character in VR chat will look like and what the difference is there. Super excited about that. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are interested in seeing that video coming out next. And if you're looking for a video to watch next, you should check out one of my podcast videos with one of the top creators in VR. Fio, we had great conversations about virtual reality and the future. Thank you so much for watching Gems and we'll see you next time on the Sapphire Star. Bye. Can you say bye, Momo? Goodbye. Goodbye.